up your light within you guide your way home. Let a long time come shine upon you, all love around you. Open up your light within you guide your way home. Let a long time come shine upon you. John, are you happy with the way things are going up here at the moment? Yeah, I couldn't be happier with the way things are going. Um, the thing which impresses me most is that um, there are people here from almost every scene I've been through in the last 10 years. The sort of thing that's happened to the pop scene now is it's become a sort of a young person scene and it's, it's, it's alienated a lot of people who are sort of are, are suspicious of where its values are going and, and what's happening to the whole scene. There's been something about this event that's been able to bring people out of their corners and out of their hiding places who have really have, haven't stepped into this for a, a long, long while. And the thing that's really making me joyful is that so many people are here from all sorts of age groups, all sorts of scenes. It's really a sort of 50, 60, 70 scene all in one, and that's what's really exciting me about it. How did the Magic Circle get started? Oh, well, we were living just a few friends and decided to come over here, and then we thought we'd come over here together and start setting up a tribe and do it early so that when other people came, just for the festival, they could see how a tribe can exist. Well, how, how does it exist? How do you divide labour and things like that? Oh, well, everyone's sort of just socially aware enough to, you know, just do something when it needs being done, like food and everything. If you feel like cooking, you just go in and make a salad and someone else comes along and joins you and they make something and then a meal's prepared. Have you found that a kind of a bureaucracy springs up? Do you have a, a tribal leader or are you still working completely unstructured? Uh, leaders have emerged but aren't just in different aspects where they're needed. Just the other night, Johnny and Graham had a meeting and they talked about how they were against the bureaucracy before the festival began and then all of a sudden in the middle of the festival, Johnny and Graham became the bureaucracy. Um, you know, this is sort of the way it is, but we've had a, a state of constant revolution uh, because as soon as Johnny and Graham start getting off, someone will, somebody will say, I don't dig that, you know, and they'll come and revolt against that. Well, it's it's... That's the only way it is. I think the only way we can live really without a bureaucracy is in a permanent state of revolution. Do any of you see encouragement in, in what you've seen so far? Do you think that people are going to be you know, more inclined to get involved in this way of living? Or do you think that they'll spend a couple of weeks here, go home and get back into their routine? What do you think? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter again, you know, like it's the whole point of everybody coming to it in your own time, you know. Um, but I, I'm sure that a lot of people are going to go from here and carry on with this way of life, you know? Like a lot of people have already offered land that, for people to live on, and so that, that'll, that'll sort of take place. But um, people that want to go back to the cities will go. It'll be difficult to live here for 10 days without getting some insights into the fact that there are other things happening than the city trip you've come from. And even members of the town here saying, you know, if you can't lick them, join them. And so really seeing that there are insights that they're getting from the situation. It'd be almost impossible to be here without some of those insights. It's just a question of whether you're ready for those insights to change your life pretty dramatically. Why is there a need to get into a tribal situation, do you think? It's, it's simply the best way to live here. If you come here and try and live by yourself, get up your own tent, build your own fire, get your own water, uh, it's a heavy scene. If you do it with a group of people, it's a light scene. And that's really the lesson that the whole of the thing is teaching all of us. Uh, that's why I think it's important. One of the local town leaders was quoted as saying that when they grow up, your children are going to resent you for having brought them up this way. Do you agree with him? Probably. We resent <laughs> our parents for bringing them up bringing us up the way they did. If we've succeeded in bringing them up, they should resent the way we put them up. <laughs> I go away.